Hey everybody, what's up? It's Alan from EV News and today the goal is to find a Proterra. So join me on this mission to finding an electric bus that I have heard is found in Breckenridge, Colorado. So I'm right now in Colorado and this is my Colorado vlog, my journey to finding a Proterra. You ready to go? Let's go. Okay, so the first stop along the trip is here at Hoosier Pass. It is actually the Continental Divide, so it says like the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. I guess this is just about middle of the Rocky Mountains. I'm in dead center of the Rocky Mountains, and it is beautiful. The view on this other side has mountains over here. They are majestic. It is fantastic. Now, I got to go down this road down here, and then we'll get into Breckenridge, so I'm almost there, so can't wait. Let's go. So it means a lot to me that you guys are following me along on this journey to find a Proterra electric bus. Um, like I've mentioned, I'm like really excited and I'm very pumped up, but I'd like to say thanks to all of you guys for the support and the encouragement. I have met a lot of nice people, maybe not even in person, but I have been able to talk to a lot of people about investing and you guys have been a great support team. Thank you. I'd like to ask you guys to like and subscribe. I'm about to head into Breckenridge, so I'll see you on that other side. Wow, if you guys have not been out here to Colorado or to the mountains here in Colorado, you guys have got to come out here. It is amazing. Wow, look at that. It is so beautiful here, my gosh. Okay, so I did a quick search and I found the Breckenridge bus station is not far from where I am. So I'm heading there now with hopes that we will find and see a Proterra bus. So I'm pulling up right now. I'm actually behind a bus. It is not a Proterra. It is not an electric bus, but let's hope that uh, hopefully something comes through. We can find a good bus and, and hopefully at least say hi to the driver. So let's go. Okay, so I did find a diesel electric hybrid uh, bus. So I'm gonna go talk to the driver and see if they have full electrics here. Cause I'm pretty sure that's what I've read about Proteros that they're here. So let me go check with them. Okay, so you won't believe what just happened. I talked to the driver, the bus driver of that diesel electric hybrid bus. And I asked him if there was any full electric buses running today. And he told me that there aren't any buses running today. <laughs> However, he told me there was one running this morning and that it had to go back because it didn't have enough charge. So he said that there might be one running later. But then I just said, you know what? That's not going to stop me. I'm on a mission to find these Proterra buses and I want to see one up close. So I asked where the bus depot was and he told me where it was. So I'm going to head there now. Nothing's going to stop me on this trip. Let's go. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of trouble finding the bus depot. I, um actually did drive around and look for some and I couldn't find any so I decided to stop and do a little bit of research here um, at the Breckenridge Distillery. Um, I'm gonna have a warm-up drink. It's just one of these winter warm-ups so I'm gonna go ahead and have one of those while I do a little bit of research. Um, it's a pretty cool place. Check it out. Well you guys I'm pretty sad and I'm a little bit upset because I came here to the bus depot and they told me that the Proterra buses are literally right in here in this back section. Um, they do not give tours to the public and they wouldn't let me uh, take a look at the, the, the bus. I did talk to one of the guys who works here, a very nice guy named Andy. And he was telling me a little bit about the company um, and he was telling us how they have two Proterra buses here in Breckenridge and then how they're looking to get three more and most likely they'll go ahead and use Proterra. Um, he, he did seem to know quite a bit of the company. He said like the charging stations themselves are Proterra. He didn't know how to invest. So I did tell him the ticker symbol um, ACTC of course to invest in. Um, yeah, so he seemed very positive and very optimistic about Proterra just like I am. He did say that the... Um, the CEO of the company, his name is Dale Hill, and he lives uh, not far from here. And he's a really smart guy and he comes up here to the bus depot quite a bit and like looks at the Proterra. So the guy said he knows him personally and that just based on the leadership or just based on him as the CEO, he would definitely invest into Proterra. So they're right here. I'm so close. I'm not gonna be able to see them. Uh, it's quite sad and I'm a little bit, upset but it is what it is like i said and i did mention they do have them here so i will come back and i will find a proterra bus as of right now unfortunately i don't have one to show you but you guys can hit like and subscribe and then i will find a proterra bus it's coming
It is coming. Hey everyone, this is day two of me finding a Proterra bus. I am on the road to Breckenridge right now. I know that they're running here in the morning. It's early, so I'm gonna go find one. That was the mission yesterday. Unfortunately, I did not find one, but that's not a big deal. Today is gonna be the day. Now, last night before I went to bed, I was thinking about it quite a bit, and really everything kind of boils down to like, we are in the beginning stages of investing in the EV industry. Proterra already owns 50% of all electric buses in the United States, and yet their stock price today with ACTC is like $27 a share, right? And I just know that we're in the baby phases because even the people that work there at the bus depot and who have literally Proterra's staring them in the face have no idea that you can invest in Proterra. So once the merger happens and Proterra uh, comes to market, I would not be surprised if we see it sitting at like 40, 45, 50 bucks a share. So I'm holding and if you can do that as well, we, like I said, we're in the beginning phases. So you buy and hold like I am willing to hold for the next couple of years. We're gonna see some massive, massive gains. And we're also gonna see um, EVs just become more commonplace, especially the public transportation. So like I mentioned yesterday, the bus depot here in Breckenridge has said that they're trying to buy three more electric buses. And obviously, most likely, they're gonna go with Proterra because they already have two buses and they really like them. So I'm excited about the future of Proterra. I'm excited about our public transportation. Uh, things are looking very good. Like I said, this is the beginning we are in the baby phases. Invest early. This is what I was talking about. I got into THCB at $10.39. Well, today it's sitting over $20. Well, same thing with uh, App Harvest even. I got into App Harvest when it was NOVS at $11.39. And today it's sitting at $40 a share. You got to find these companies early that people don't know about. And Proterra is really one of the biggest Ones. It is the largest position in my portfolio for a reason. I have put more money down on Proterra than any other company. So today has a, obviously like a special significance for me today to find one of these buses. I'm excited to, obviously, um, I'm very excited to, to see one and to uh, hopefully talk to someone about it as well. So um, thanks for joining me on this journey. We are early. This is our early phases of the game. Get in early and have patience. That's the name of the game. I'll see you soon once we find this Proterra bus. I'm heading into Breck now, so we'll we'll see each other on the other side of the mountain. Let's go. All right, so I'm back in Breckenridge. I'm heading right now to the bus station. It's not far from where I am, and it's quite funny. Uh, my girlfriend was kind of making fun of me yesterday because she was like, you know, most people come to Breckenridge to find like the snow, to go skiing, to you know, enjoy the mountains, enjoy nature, and here you are, so concerned and very um, <laughs> interested in finding this Proterra bus. But once you're invested like I am, and you care as much as about the EV industry like I do, then this is what I look forward to. Of course, I enjoy the mountains and I enjoy nature. <gasps> there, there it is, there's the Proterra bus. Oh my God, it's right here. <laughs> oh my God, it's right there. It's literally right there. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. <laughs> Let's see if I can go talk to this bus driver. All right, I'm finally here. Look, it's an electric bus by Proterra, baby. I made it. <laughs> I just talked to the bus driver a little bit. Um, he said that he didn't want to be in the film. That's fine, but he did say that there is a little bit of growing pains with it right here in the mountains. It's like extremely cold. He said there's a problem with the heating a little bit. You can't really feel it once it's like zero degrees or something. Um, but this is it. This is what I've been waiting for is to come see this Proterra bus. I'm super pumped up. I can't even believe it. It is obviously, like it says right there, 100% battery electric. So, man, I'm so pumped up. I can't even believe that I get to see this bus. <laughs> All right, so the bus is about to leave. We're about to listen to how little noise it makes. Um, there she goes. <laughs> Bye, Proterra. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't. I can't believe it. It's the only one that's running today, and I just happened to hit it just now before it took off. Um, but there it is sitting right there and it's so beautiful. It's so nice. Like I mentioned earlier, the guy was telling me there's a little bit of growing pains, of course, 
but he did mention that they want to go full electric eventually all the buses go electric so that's the intention here in breck up here in colorado and it's a big part of oh you can hear it i could just hear how like the sound of like the it's not like an obviously like an internal combustion engine or a gas or diesel engine it's an, an electric engine that sounded so nice it was just like psh, 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 psh. <laughs> oh this is it this is the reason why i came to breck obviously not for the mountains not for the snow it was just for proterra no i'm just kidding tomorrow i'm gonna hit the slopes so i'll be out there thank you guys for joining me on this journey i'm so glad i got to see it it's a big proterra is gonna be a huge part of my success my part of my financial success i know it um and if you are invested in now or if you can get invested in early it will be a financial success it will create a financial foundation for you as well in the future I'm extremely bullish and very optimistic for the future of electric buses, especially Proterra. So let's go. I hope you're as happy as I am and as excited as I am to see the bus. So y'all take care. I'm so glad uh, I got to be part of this and you got to be part of this as well. I'll see you guys soon. We'll talk later. Okay, bye.